All right, this is in response to all Windows 8 haters. Windows 8 haters, um, you know who you are. <laughs> people who are Windows 8 haters are people who do not like the Metro style. Um, people who are afraid of change, people who don't like change, people who like the way you know to have things stay the same. A screen full of icons. It's been around since the early 80s. Macintosh 1, Windows 1, and also the next computer that came out in the early in the late 90s by C. Jobs himself. If you guys are as old as I am, um, you remember the next computer. The next computer was better than Mac at the time. It was way better than Mac. Uh, more processing power and it was just a sweet system, but it was also icon based. It was a screen with icons on it, and it was a color. Uh, probably the first color Mac, as far as I remember. But um, but it wasn't a Mac, though. It was completely Unix based. It was sweet. I'm telling you, it was the sweetest system I've ever seen. Now, here's the thing um, Metro is moving into the territories that we've seen in a lot of um, movies that we enjoy, like Avatar, Minor Minority Report, I can't even pronounce that right, um, and many other movies that showcase augment reality and just beautiful graphics and all that. Metro is, un is not exactly that, it isn't. In fact, the original Microsoft Surface, which is now called Microsoft PixelSense, is um, probably sort of that future. Microsoft has made a lot of steps, um, and so has Nintendo with Nintendo Wii systems, um, where we're using gestures and body movements to control the screen. Um, Microsoft is also working on a wristband to work with Kinect so we can use actual finger control so you can do, you know, actual fingers, like how you hold a baseball and stuff like that. Currently, you can pitch a ball, but sometimes you have to, you can get more accuracy by the way you hold the ball. Now, I'm not a baseball player, so this may not be the right way, okay? But imagine you can literally do this because your wristband will d detect exactly where your fingers are at and input into the Xbox your exact finger motion. Now imagine being able to do that with Bing Maps or Nikia Maps or whatever they decide to use when you're able to pinch and zoom um, into certain areas on a map or zoom into a picture during your presentation saying, hey, take a look at this picture and let me zoom in to a certain location because you can literally pinch. Uh, as of now, all you can do is move stuff around on Connect. Uh, this is where we're going. Windows 8 is going to be, it's going to integrate a lot of Connect features, and a lot of developers are going to have the ability to add Connect like um, pictures into the um, uh, applications that are going to be used for enterprise for business productivity, as well as entertainment uh, websites. So if you want to go through your books, you can literally just say, okay, go to the next book, go to the, go to the next book. Or if you use audible.com, you can literally spike through all your audio books until you pick the one you want. And then you can also go through your chapters real quick just by going up and down. So this is where I see Microsoft is going. Uh, reason why I like it so much because it's getting away from the old and stepping into the new. I embrace change. That's just me. A lot of people don't. A lot of people do not embrace change, and a lot of people are afraid of change. Desktop. When I say desktop is dead, <clears throat> that just means that we're moving away from having a screen with icons and you point and click and you're moving into gesture control, touch monitors as well. Now, this is not happening now, but in the next two years, touch monitors will become standard. This is my prediction. Will become a standard issue for computers. 